Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to keep working on the demo project that we started a couple of videos ago. And specifically, we are going to register a model. So let me share the screen. And this is the code that we have so far. To register a model, um, we can do uh, several methods. We can use several methods. Um, the first one that I want to show you is this one using just mflow.registerModel. I'm providing this information. We have to provide uh, the model you write and the model name. This is the name of the model that we'll, we are going to see in the model registry. So model name in this case is register model. Uh, we can also provide tags. Um, yes, in the case that we want, let's say, to have uh, some tags for this model. In this case, I'm just going to use this information and run the code. Just let me Python run dot. Okay, it says the a new model version was created. Let's go to the UI. Right, models, and we can see here registered model version one. One of the advantages of this method is that if I run the code again, MLflow will automatically create a new version of this model, the same model, because we are providing the same model name. So let's show you this. Okay, it's done. And as you can see here, there is a new version of the model. Let's go to the interface. Let's version two. Right now we have two versions. Uh, now let's try with a different method. I'm going to delete this. Uh, and I'm going to also delete the runs, as we can see here. Uh, they appear like registered. So I'm going to delete those runs. OK, I'm going to comment this. And in this case, I'm going to use the MLflow client to register the model. In utils, I have this function called register model with client which is uh, using the MLflow client to create a register model and then create the model version. This is a, let's say, more manual approach. And I'm just going to, maybe this will cause some problems. I'm going to comment this out because I don't want to start this again and again and run this script. I prepared this script to well, build the will file, update the will file, and install the will file in my environment so I don't have to write again and again the same commands. Okay, once the package is updated, um, I'm going to get the register model with client from utils using import. And here I am using the method register model with client, the function. Register model with client, model name, run ID, and artifact path. Let's run this code and see what happens. I can run. Okay, as we can see here, there is a new model uh, called registered model version one. Let's go to the interface and look and see. Uh, okay, here we have the model, right? Now, there is some, let me try to refresh this, only one version, right? Let's try to run this code. Uh, to see one of the disadvantages of this method. And the problem is that when we are creating a register model here with the client, the client is expecting um, that this model name is unique across all the model registry, uh, which means that since we already have a model name, registered model in the model registry, I'm going to have an error. So let me show you that. Okay, it's done, and as you can see here, there is an MLflow exception, and it says the registered model already exists. Um, which means that when we are dealing with this kind of um, method with the client, we need to you know, manage that exception, maybe using a try set block. Now, 
let me show you the final method that we can use to register a model and maybe the the most simple and it's basically using in training train.vi I can provide a parameter called uh, register model name and provide the model name right um, model name is going to be now a parameter here um, by doing this when we are logging the model we are going to automatically uh, register the model now let me rerun this because I just updated the package and while this is um, done I'm going to go to the entry point I'm going to comment this line and in train model I'm going to provide model name Okay. Now we are done. I'm going to execute the code again. Okay, it's done. Um, it says that a new model was created. Let's go to the interface. And um, let's do this. Here we have the train, the, the run register model if we go to models we can see register model version 1 now the advantage of this method is that you will create a new version every time that you log the model so if I run the code again MLflow will automatically create a new version of the same model because the name is the same right now the disadvantage of this approach is that well uh, maybe you don't want to do that you don't want to let's say create a new version every time that you retrain your model because especially when you are developing when you are developing you are experimenting which means that um, your first models are not going to be that good so probably you want to do something um, you know there so maybe something like a conditional and provide known uh, when you're experimenting and once you are sure that you have something ready uh, to try maybe to get uh, predictions you can register the model. Uh, well, that was everything for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to retrieve the model from the model registry and score the model using scikit-learn and flow. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.